Welcome friends to Literature Mantra. I am Harsh Singh and in this video we will discuss the answer script and evaluate the answer script which has been written by a student. And this is particularly for this exam, JMI's entrance exam for English. Okay? Jamia Melia Islamia's entrance exam for admissions to postgraduate level English. Okay? So in our evaluation, we will discuss the strengths and weaknesses of this answer script which has been written by a student. Afterwards, how can this answer be improved? So you will get a lot of Now before moving ahead, if you want to connect with me, you can connect with me on Telegram. Okay? And this is the link, Harsh Singh Sir Official. And this is a small brief about me. Okay? And one more announcement, if you are preparing for Jamia Melia Islamia's entrance exam for English, PG English, okay? we are running a test series and if you want to enroll, just call or WhatsApp us on this number. And in this test series, there will be six full mock tests, okay? both part A and part B. Because as you know that Jamia's entrance has both multiple choice questions as well as subjective or essay type questions. Okay? So, dono honge in six full mock tests. Mein. Afterwards, you will be given evaluation, expert evaluation will be done, feedback will be given and answer writing strategies will be also discussed. Okay? In addition to the six full mock tests, additional questions which are important from an exam point of view will also be given. So, you can practice more if you want to. Now coming to the answer script which has been written by a student. The question that was for this essay type question was ye question tha, how can we connect war poetries and what do we find in them? Okay? So a broad sa question hai. and this is the answer script which has been written by a student. Okay? So let's go through it line by line. War poetry is a powerful and enduring form of expression that can help us understand and empathize with the human condition in the times of war. Okay. War poetry is not necessarily anti-war. Sometimes war poetry emphasizes on a bigger question and i.e. where did the humanity disappear. Okay. It is also about the very large questions regarding the realities of life, identity, guilt, innocence, loyalty, humanity, fraternity, duty, compassion and death. Okay. So this is how this student, let's call this student XYZ, how this student starts her essay. Okay. This is the introduction. Now, on the face of it, it seems to be okay. But huh, as we read along, as we read the entire uh, script, you'll realize the problems that are there in this introduction, the weaknesses that are there in the, in the uh, in this introduction. Okay, so let, let me read few more paragraphs. Uske baad main explain karta hon ki kya isme kami hai, is introduction mein. And then she begins comparing few poems. Okay? The first poem is this that she talks about. So broadly speaking, the answer that the student has written is a comparative essay. Okay? She compares three poems, three poems which deal with the issue of war. And then there is the final conclusion. Okay? Let's read this second paragraph. Small pain in my chest is a war poem written by Michael Mack, an American poet. This poem isn't just an anti-war poem, but is also it also tries to portray the reality of a war. A war does not only mean that it's about the victory of one's nation, while the other one loses all its power. The battlefield of a war gives a clear, crystal clear example of how humanity is slowly fading. The poem ends with a very touching ending when the poet says that he feels deeply, now what this word is, I don't know, but deeply dash to see the agony, agony of the soldiers on the battlefield and thus is felt by the, this word I don't understand, headies as well. The poet's message is loud and clear to all of us, shun hatred and warfare. It's It brings out the great guilt on the part of the humanity at not being able to give up war. War has an dash impact on the lives of soldiers, adverse impact on the lives of soldiers. Without referring to the action in the war, Michael Mack has brought out the suffering of the soldiers. Okay? On the battlefield, it is horror and chaos, fear and trauma. The soldiers gradually run out of energy and the battlefield takes its toll sooner or later. The poem indirectly advises people to shun hatred. Now, this second paragraph seems to be okay, but let's go to the first page. Okay, first introduction. Now, what is wrong in this introduction? Or what is missing in, the, in this introduction? Let's put it this way. See, since this is a comparative essay, the correct approach should have been that she should have, first of all, indicated which poems she is comparing, considering that this is a comparative essay that she has written. Okay? Uske baad, few problems 
in legibility is also there sometimes there are some words which are difficult to read so those things really annoy the examiner theek hai now let's discuss the next poem that she is writing on theek hai after this line the poem indirectly advises people to shun hatred uske baad dusra hai and as i held him to me i could feel our wounds were pressed so this seems to be a quotation from the poem theek hai the large one in my heart against the small one in his chest theek hai so the narrator says that he has a large wound in his heart compound to the smaller compared to the smaller one in the soldier's chest because he feels a sense of guilt the larger wound symbolizes the greater guilt on the part of humanity for not being able to give up war wars uske baad next paragraph hai if we look into another poem another war poem which was written by wilfred owen now she moves on to the next poem okay till now it was the explanation for the first poem written by wilfred owen during the first world war insensibility okay this poem also tries to decipher the same meaning which michael mack has tried in his poem in insensibility wilfred owen through the title of the poem refers to the fact that these soldiers have literally lost the ability to feel to sense something due to the holy terror which they had faced during the first world war their eyes are made of the hurt of the color of blood forever now this is a quotation that she has given okay then the poet says that even old wounds will have no influence on them and the sight of blood will not affect them ever again they won't be capable of connecting the color red to anything being saturated in pain already now this is the last page that she has written theek okay? hai so just let's quickly read this yet another a quite similar war poem is the soldier by rupert brook now here i should say that the second par uh, the second poem that she talks about she should explain something more okay the first poem was explained in one or two pages this poem was a bit too brief okay so when you are writing a comparative essay try to at least mention all the points now if you have gone through this poem of wilfred owen uh, insensibility usme aur bhi kuch kuch cheeze hain aur bhi kuch points hain usme but uh, this student has not mentioned all of those points ideally she should have mentioned those points also theek okay? hai so the second poem explanation for the second poem was a bit too brief now next move uh, le let's move on to this poem theek okay? hai the soldier by rupert brook here also the poet tries to portray the courage and sacrifices of these soldiers who have relentlessly given their lives for the for their nation even their death beds brave heroes did not abandon their sense of responsibility ठीक है दीज ब्रेव हीरोज डिड नॉट अबैंडन देयर सेंस ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दे आर गोइंग टू रिमेन इन द हार्ट एंड माइंड ऑफ देयर फेलो कंट्रीमेन फॉर एवर एंड एवर सो हियर शी गिव अ ब्रीफ एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन वॉट इज द मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी ठीक है और मॉरल ऑफ द पोएम की वॉट एग्जैक्टली रूपर्ट ब्रूक इज ट्राइंग टू से बट हियर शी हैज नॉट गिवन कोटेशंस शी शुड हैव गिवन कोटेशंस टू सब्सटैंशिएट हर पॉइंट ठीक है बिकॉज इट इज ऑलवेज एडवाइजेबल इन इंग्लिश लिटरेचर टू substantiate your arguments from evidence from the text be it a novel be it a poem be it anything okay after that war war poetries draw a clear picture of war terror and its horrific destruction the basic purpose of these war poetries is to tell the world how chaotic destruction affect and mortify the human race no matter what happens wars should never be the response nor the solution for anything those innocent lives should be spared theek hai to is tarike se inhone apna conclusion diya hai so what is the weakness in the conclusion let's also discuss that so after having read this few important things you should always keep in mind one is the introduction should have been better slightly better explaining what you are going to compare if you if you are writing a comparative essay at least mention it in the introduction uske baad though she has used a uh, quotations in her in the body of the essay there there is no quotation at the beginning ideally you should use some quotation at the beginning because after all this is a topic of war ye is pe to bahut sare unginat quotations hain available for example This quotation is there, you know, by Horace Dulcet Decorum est pro patria mori. Okay, this is a ancient quotation, and if you translate this, it means it is sweet and fitting to die for one's country. Okay, and uh, there is also a poem by Wilfred Owen called Dulcet Decorum est. Okay, usme Wilfred Owen kya karte hain? He shows how this quotation is a big, big falsehood. 
ये जो वॉर को ग्लोरीफाई करने की कोशिश करते रहते हैं दिस इज अ टोटल फॉल्सुड ठीक है सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ग्लोरीफाई वॉर यू कैन कोट दिस कोटेशन ठीक है डुल चेट डिकोरा मेस्ट प्रो पेट्रिया मोरी विच जस्ट मीन्स इट इज स्वीट एंड फिटिंग टू डाई फॉर वंस कंट्री ठीक है उसके बाद एक और कोटेशन है जो कि बहुत ही फेमस है द पार्ट ऑफ ग्लोरी लीड बट टू द ग्रेव ठीक है बाय थॉमस ग्रे सो दिस इंडिकेट्स द हाउ हॉरेबल वॉर इज सो यू कैन आइडियली बिगिन विद अ कोटेशन गुड कोटेशन बट इन द आंसर स्क्रिप्ट दैट द स्टूडेंट हैज रिटन शी हैजेंट यूज एनी कोटेशन एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ हर एस ए ठीक है दिस इज वन मोर वीकनेस उसके बाद एज आई टोल यू दैट द कंक्लूजन शुड हैव बीन स्लाइटली बेटर स्लाइटली बेटर द कंक्लूजन सीम्स टू बी टू ब्रीफ कुछ ज्यादा ही ब्रीफ है ये ठीक है बिकॉज because first she doesn't refer to all of these three poems in the conclusion which she should have after all you are writing a comparative answer na uske baad aur kya dikkat hai till the time the question asks you about your personal value judgment you should not give a personal value judgment matlab don't call anything right or don't call anything wrong unless of course the question is asking you for your personal value judgment but this student has given her personal value judgment in the end she, she says that war should not be fought or etc etc so rule of thumb do not offer personal value judgments if not asked for instead try to create a balanced response theek okay? hai balanced response even if ultimately you decide to give personal judgments then give balanced responses for example you can say that war unnecessarily creates a lot of suffering horror is there but at the same time sometimes we have to fight wars what if somebody is attacking your country what if somebody is attacking your family will you not fight back will you not defend yourself yes we yes we all will right we all will so try not to give one sided arguments unless of course the question is asking you for your judgment for your personal judgment theek hai so these are some things that are easily recognizable in this answer script which this student has written of course there are some other issues also with with this we'll discuss the details more details about this answer script later on in the next part of this evaluation and in the next part of this evaluation we will also go through a model answer a model answer how a model answer should be written isi isi question pe hum dekhenge theek hai so you can compare the answer script which has been written by this student and what a perfect answer or near to perfect answer should be like theek okay? hai or what a model answer should be like and one more thing i want to announce before i close remember the entrance exam of jamia is on the 26th of may so there is still plenty of time left for you to practice and in jamia there is mcqs are there theek hai mcqs in part ए एंड सब्जेक्टिव और एस ए टाइप क्वेश्चन आर देयर इन पार्ट बी और पार्ट बी जो है सिक्सटी मार्क्स का है सो प्रैक्टिसिंग राइटिंग एस एज विल बी द की इन डिसाइडिंग वेदर यू गेट इन टू जामिया मिलिया इस्लामिया और नॉट ठीक है इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर पी जी इंग्लिश ठीक है एंड सिमिलर इज द केस विद अदर यूनिवर्सिटीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल जादवपुर यूनिवर्सिटी इज देयर एस पी पी यू इज देयर एंड सम अदर यूनिवर्सिटीज स्टिल कंडक्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इन विच एस ए टाइप क्वेश्चन आर देयर सो प्रैक्टिस इज द की एंड रिमेंबर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जॉइन आवर टेस्ट series just call or whatsapp us on this number 7678160296 and don't forget to follow our youtube channel click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates and especially the next part which we will upload today itself theek okay? hai